present our paper uh, entitled Distributed Frequency Wave Time Control of the Proper Tool and Our Communication Infections. This is paper with my uh, colleagues, uh, Dr. Yuri and Dr. Uh, this will be First, give a motivation background and then describe the system that we are considering as well as the information of the problem. And then I'll describe a model of the general surface phenomena in this patterning system. And then uh, describe the synthesis of controls uh, that we uh, develop in this research and then give some uh, one uh, simulation example. So, this paper is talking about the vehicle patterning where uh, a group of vehicles is moving together uh, to maintain some desired. Uh, reference distance. So this could be useful if you want to control a group of vehicle, for example, in highway, so that they can move together, but at the same time, keep maintaining a safety distance together. So there are some benefits of uh, vehicle building, like uh, reduced congestion and travel times, and also it's improved safety and autonomy of the traffic for a group of uh, vehicles. Uh, the problem that we are discussing here is the challenge regarding the communication networks. So, <coughs> How can we better utilize the limited network bandwidth? So normally when we fly vehicle programming, we use uh, microcomputers so to give communication between vehicles. And then uh, normally what we do is that we send the control signal in a periodic manner. And here we want to use like what is called as an event, event trigger control. So we control the systems, the data is transmitted not periodically, but aperiodically. So that will save some uh, capacity, uh, bandwidth capacity of the communication network. And also the second problem is how to do, deal with uh, cyber attacks. Because we are using uh, internet to communicate with vehicles, what happens uh, is that the button will go into a state of failure if there is an attack on the communication system. So we want to study how can we maintain the stability of the system even if there is a cyber attack on the system. So we propose an event trigger uh, control strategy to improve the efficiency of the uh, standard periodic time trigger control. And then the second is uh, we characterize the condition under which the proposed control strategy can stabilize the systems uh, even though there is a cyber attack on the system. So first we give the uh, uh, model of the systems. So the system that we are in here is the standard uh, Ah, leader follower vehicle. So we have a virtual reference. This is not an actual vehicle, it's just a virtual vehicle that we want to track. So all of the vehicle that track these vehicles, it gives us a second order dynamics. We have uh, position dynamics, uh, velocity dynamics, and there is a measure output in here. Well, the second one is the for the dynamics of the, all of the vehicles. We have uh, position uh, velocity dynamics of, and the output. So the assumption in here is that the leader acceleration, the one that we want to track, is available of the uh, followers vehicle. And the, each follower broadcasts their relative positions. Relative position is the distance between one vehicle to another. So they can exchange these information among them. So this is the data that we assume available for each vehicles. So this subscript IJ means that the distance between two neighboring vehicles. So this can be transmitted between uh, vehicles. So in the cases, uh, we can define the directive graph about the information exchanges between one vehicle to another. And so <coughs> the directive that is V, Epsilon, and Gamma capital in here, where V is just the vehicles, all of the vehicles, we consider them as a node in the graph. And this uh, edges is just a direction of the transmission of the information between them. And then there is some alpha in here describe the strength of the transmissions. So what we consider is that the leader, because it's just a virtual one, it uh, transmits data periodically. So it transmits the positions uh, periodically. But the followers broadcast their information in event-triggered fashions, meaning that the, they will only transmit information only when the error signals exceed a threshold. So you don't turn periodically, only when necessary. If you are within that bound of error, then you don't need to transmit. That means that you don't need to use the communication system in that case. In the cases, we can define uh, uh, a new variable in here for the dynamics of these vehicles. This is just position and this is the output. But in here, what we mean is that the position is now is only transmitted, the value of the transmitted information is only when the error is exceeding the threshold. So, in, in terms of the vehicles, because of the leader 
the leader, you know, the police, uh, velocity, po position, velocity dynamics, whereas the followers only the position dynamics. Uh, then each vehicle need to estimate the velocity of its neighbor. So we assume here is that uh, it's just a Bloomberg observer, observer. That the velocity is estimated using these equations. So it depends on the acceleration of the leader dynamics, and it's also used to control of this form. So it's just a nearest neighbor control, usually used in consensus, consensus problems. So we'll have this kind of dynamics for the followers vehicles. There is a position dynamics and the velocity estimate dynamics. This is a second second order systems. So now what we do is it because we transmit the error when uh, the signal when there is an error, we can also describe it as a uh, augmented problem in here by considering what the value of the error. So in here, this the error of the state between two transmission times can be defined as this form. So it's the value of this last transmission time, and this is uh, the value before the transmission is occurred. So we'll have a linear system of this form. Uh, this is just a linear time invariant systems. X is the states, A is the state matrix, B is the control, and there is a, a disturbance in here, considering that, that there might be some error on the velocity. So the formulation that we need is that uh, for a given system of this form, we want to characterize the control of the technology, uh, which ensure that the platform <coughs> is stable even when there is a uh, denial of service occurs. So given these systems, uh, we form, uh, we look at the Implementation. If you look at the network control system, it's from, this is the plan in the vehicles, and this is the controller. And we use the network in here to send the control signals. So what we consider is that what if something happens in this uh, network uh, that is used for the controller. So what we want to do is that when do we should update these uh, control signals? And the control is using the, the standard signal control, just want to determine the game of K in here. So in that case, we define the denial of service phenomenon. So denial of service means that at certain time of uh, certain amount of times, you don't have the communication between the control and the plant. So in the cases, we can divide all of the time in here into two sets. The first is that all of the time when communication is available, and the other is all of the time when the communication is not available. So in here, we define that when there is uh, communication, then we can just apply this kind of controller in here, k time xi. When there is no control, then we, what we do is that we just use the last successfully updated control. So it's an, an old control, but at least we have something to do. So this is the main result that we use, that uh, if we want to maintain the stability of the system, that we have to ensure that the controller <coughs> that we uh, send whenever the value of the error of the state is less than the value of the uh, state variables uh, multiplied by a certain factor in here. So in here, what, we are, what, what this means is that the next sample, the next transmitted time, this is ps plus one, should be done when there is when the value of the norm of the error is less than the value of the norm of the state times some constant in here. So this would be like a tuning parameters in here. So this is the theorem we use. Uh, please look at the paper for the detail of uh, the proof in this case. <coughs> I'll give a simple example in here. Uh, so we consider one leader and one follower, so it's just given the track, uh, given the reference uh, systems, and one to be tracked by a quadcopter uh, UAV. And we use a wireless network uh, to send the controller. So the control objective is to track the reverse positions in the inertial frame. So uh, we assume that the controller is using a PI controller, standard using UAV. And the device is introduced into wireless communication channel between the ground stations. So the controller in here usually use computer in here, you go to UAV, and this would be the quadrotor. So the, there is uh, some uh, problems on the transmission of that in here. So this is the event trigger implementation. Here we don't consider any disturbance on the communications. That if you look at it here, what important thing is that the, the quadrotor can track the reference point. But if you look at the control signal in here, there is a difference that when the value of uh, the error is uh, quite large in here, then the control is signal in here is very aggressive. But when we are close to the reference, then the control signal is uh, less frequently updated. Uh, if you look at the normally periodic control, the control update is done periodically. Even if you are close to the reference trajectory, then all of the, the value of this control update will be similar like in here. So will waste a lot of uh, bandwidth in here. But in here, if you use the uh, event trigger, we only do aggressive control when we are far away from the reference, but when you're close, 
we just do, do uh, not so uh, openly. That means you save a lot of uh, computational and communication damage. Uh, this is example when we introduced the problem in the communication <coughs> during the 20th and 30th uh, something time. It will be like around in here. If you look at it here, when we use the DOS in here, uh, compared here, that uh, here the response is uh, quite smooth all of the time, but when we want to introduce the error in here, oh, if we introduce DOS in here, that the state is uh, deviated uh, quite large in here, and then here, if you look at the control, it's also do quite aggressively. So what the DOS means is that during this period of time, transit data, you just you don't send any control, meaning that the system is uh, working in open loop, no control there. So the control is zero in here. But then when the communication is established again, then the control is updated again. This is uh, during the transient uh, performance. And we also do like uh, during the state step around the, yeah, so we do uh, near the state state in here, we introduce the OS. So there's no control in here. If you look at the state, it's a little bit quite large. And the control in here is also, uh, there's no control. So the system works open loop. It shows how that we can still maintain the stability of the system even there is a DOS occurring in the system. That will be the end of my presentations. Uh, now I'd like to thank for the support from the respectivity and the USA. Thank you. Okay, let's now uh, for the question and share. There's a um, question. <coughs> And we would like to ask, uh, as I can see that uh, there are several uh, vehicles in there. Uh, is is the other vehicle is following the master? Yeah. One master or uh, the nearest uh, vehicle? No, uh, it will be like uh, following a reference trajectory. So we can define only one uh, leader vehicle, but we can also define the virtual leader as one for each vehicle. Mm -hmm. Because the virtual leader is just a virtual leader. It's, just, it's not really a vehicle. So if we have like two vehicles, we can define like reference trajectory to vehicles that each of them track them. So the nearest uh, vehicle, we follow the nearest uh, leader vehicle, like that? No, it's actually track the leader, the leader vehicles, mm -hmm. but two of the leader vehicle is uh, controls such that their desire is maintained. So if the leader is has several uh, certain uh, amount of distance, then the two follower vehicle will also maintain the same distance. So it's just the idea here is that we give a, a reference uh, vehicle, and then each vehicle just track them. Oh. Even if you use one vehicle for tracking, or each vehicle have a reference oh. in that case you can use. And one more, yeah. I'd like to ask about the communication network to you. Uh, consider about the several communication network that have uh, uh, DOS, uh, DOS, about DOS. Uh, they can they can automatically manage if there's a DOS. So uh, there were there are no need to 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 check the previous uh, state control. Uh, no, in here, what, what, what we prove actually that uh, if the, DO, DO, the DOS occurs for some period amount of time, uh -huh. then we can maintain stability. Uh -huh. But if uh, the DOS occur more than that certain period, then we cannot guarantee stability. Because in that case, you just cannot do anything. You're just working in open loop, and you can do a step. So what we constrain in here is that how long does uh, DOS can be tolerated? Mm -hmm. If it's greater than that amount of time, then uh, we cannot say anything because it just works in open loop, no control. Mm -hmm. like that. Is there any question? If no, give applause for the second presenter. Thank you.